hope you're well. My name is Charlize Domar and I'm a fourth year medical student at VITS. So that means I'm doing GIMP 2 this year. So I'm just going to be talking a bit about my journey getting to the GIMP program and giving a few advice, uh, pointers and a bit of advice. Um, so please subscribe to Silly Lucas channel as well. And thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, so let's get started. So most of the people start off their story with they wanted to do medicine since they were little. However, I only realized I wanted to do medicine from high school. I always thought I had a brain for numbers and thought I'd be doing accounting. But the more I did biology, the more I realized I liked that more and related to it more. And I think I couldn't imagine myself um, doing a desk job, sitting behind the desk. So that's when I realized I wanted to help people. I wanted to work with people and give back to the community. So high school, I did quite well. I made the top 10 most of the time, but I think my ultimate letdown was my MBT mark. I wrote it in Afrikaans and the translations weren't the best. So I think that did alter my chances of getting in. And then I, then I went to the attacks. So my first degree, I started doing human physiology at BSc and they have that six month bridging course where you can start off with the medics and then after six months you can go along with them if you get a spot but my marks weren't good enough I was still really adjusting to varsity and especially driving all the way to Pretoria and back every day it was a big adjustment so I didn't get in then and then came second semester and it was the fees must fall protest and I actually failed math along with most if not all of my class so most of us had to repeat it because that one didn't have summer school at the end of the year in December. Um, and then second year came and I decided, you know what, I'm going to work hard because it's going to be hard work. And if I want it, I need to put in the effort. So then when I started working hard, I ended off with about a 78 at the end of second year. Uh, which is 75 above that is an, a distinction at tax. And... I then went into third year and I selectively chose model modules that would help me and benefit me and those that I knew I would excel in. So I didn't choose the most minimal work, but instead of taking five, six modules a semester, I'd rather stick to the basic four just to get my credits in a sense. And it helped. So it took the strain and the stress of everything. Then... I also applied at the end of second year medicine uh, at the end of second year for medicine at tax, but I didn't get in because I failed math in the first year. So that's also when I realized third year is my final year to make things count and to actually put in the effort to get there. And then I was actually busy working at school, busy with the tablets, integrating them into the high school with the textbooks, and I thought to do a bit more research about medicine. Because I actually didn't apply to any other varsity except tax initially. And so I decided, so let's do more research. And I actually stumbled upon the WAP program. And I never had tutoring. I think it was hosted by that time by Yannick. And I actually never knew about that. <laughs> I've never had the privilege of having a group that we've created for most of the people. Yes, I'm one of the tutors, sorry. Um, so I actually started that January when I found out I phoned my dad and I was like hey I need this book can we buy it I know it's expensive but I really want to do this and he's like okay we can do it I think I bought the book the same day or the next day and I downloaded the objectives and I just made my own notes and studied from them because that's how I prefer to study is to make my own summaries or just make my own notes from my own handwriting because I preferred it that way and I studied every time I go home so if it wasn't near semester test when I got home I did a few objectives that night and then in the day I would try and do my varsity work so I wouldn't get behind because that's also very very important and therefore I cannot emphasize to start early to not put that stress on yourself just to start early and get things going and start studying and thus June holiday because it was so long between the semesters that's where I did most of the work where I mostly studied did most of the web things and memorize so they say there's two ways you can approach the setting so you can either start with a section that's smaller which was more mid or you can do like i did i chose the section that i haven't done which was anatomy and another point on that 
is if you have a degree in something, for example, physiology, it doesn't necessarily mean you know the work well enough. Because I know someone, or I've seen a video, the guy was like, he failed the test three times because he didn't study for physiology because he thought he knew it because he had a degree in it and he failed all three times because of the physiology section so i cannot emphasize it's so important to study and just to integrate your work with the web work um i then started studying and it was hectic because i had semester test friday night saturday morning then once again on the monday so i had to you know pull up my socks and everything and get things going then i it was about three weeks before the test that's when everyone to cram and forget that's where that phase was so like i always preach get enough sleep even though i don't practice the what i said because i didn't get enough sleep i was so tired that day and the problem is it's already so nerve-wracking going to the test writing the test and just or standing out there and now you have that extra pressure of not feeling well prepared, feeling tired and everything, just exhausted. So just take that break the night before. Uh, it's a good recommendation I can give you, but yeah. Um, so at the test, it was really, really nerve wracking, like I said, because you get there and there's so many people. And I was so tired because I went to bed like at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. because I wanted to finish each, each section at least once before. And I was so tired, headache, couldn't focus that well. And I actually worried that I was going to fail that test that day. So I was like, okay, fine, let's just go right. I wrote the test. I went home, took a nap. And it was honestly one of the worst, well, not worst. It was a very difficult test for me. I really struggled with physiology. The anatomy was a bit easier on the side because I feel like I think most people haven't done anatomy. So they try and keep it easy enough, but not too easy. And more med was okay for me because I did microbiology and physiology and pharmacology well yeah pharmacology that help tremendously with that section as well as second gen genetics which was part of my degree so that helped quite a lot just to integrate your studies with the wet studies and then it was actually it was a relief because that test was over now i could really really focus on my varsity work so i focused and I worked hard and I ended up, like I said, with second year 78 and then third year I ended up, I think, with an 85 or 84, which brought my end of year average to a 75. So I graduated with distinction, but still I didn't get in at tax. Um, I was wage listed in third year, but I applied to VITS this time because of the WAP, the WAP program. And to my surprise, the 16th, I went at midnight after a movie. I decided to go online and check my status. And surprise, I got accepted. However, they're like, please accept your invitation. But I had no accept button. So <laughs> the problem was I never sent in my hard documents. And it was a Friday night at midnight. And it was a long weekend, the 16th of December. And the varsity only allows you three days to accept your application and they only open after on the fourth day. So I was so stressed that weekend, I was panicking, everything. And luckily I got a hold of them Tuesday and I spoke to them, was like, okay, fine, I can come on the Wednesday. I went the Wednesday, I brought my documents and they told me it's not the right documents. So yes, I'm that annoying person that tells everyone, please make sure you have your code of conduct attached to your um, marks because... This is the paper you have to get from the administration of university because I went to VITS. I had to drive all the way to tax to get the original one, to get it certified, and then back to VITS to give them our documentation so they can send me my invitation to accept. And then I had to pay. So that was my story. And then the imposter syndrome set in. Like, it really is a thing. So I applied obviously for honours at tax for most of my for postgrad to at least continue studying and I declined all my offers except my pharmacology because I was so scared that this isn't a reality. I The day I walked in at VITS and I sat on that bench on my first day it was the day I declined my offer for pharmacology at tax. So imposter syndrome really is a thing and I think every student feels it but like I always say the you're the best 
irrespective of the best in a sense. You are among the top minds in your class. They all worked hard to get there. You worked hard. You all deserve to be there. Um, so that's my journey. And I actually have been blessed by having a bursary since my third year at Tux. Uh, PPS Foundation and I'm very thankful to them because they've been paying my studies since then and I don't think I would have been able to complete all my studies with due to financial constraints if it wasn't for them so I'm very very thankful th for that so but pointers I can give for the actual what is you need to know the most important things. There's a lot of muscles in the body, for example. You don't need to know the insignificant ones. You need to know the important ones, the big ones, what are their functions. And sometimes the name actually gives away the function. Also, you need to know integrated questions because that will form part of the curriculum. And the, the reason why they're doing this test is to check if you can pass their second year medicine and if you don't that means you can't go to third year so that's why they test you on these things and that's why they just want a pass or fail mark um another thing i can give advice about is once again mental health if you need a break just take that break because if you overwork yourself burnout is a real thing it won't help your progress so just take a break take a breather when you need to go sit in the garden have a cup of tea you smell the roses just do something to get your mind off of things and then you can go twice and uh, strong and smash those goals and also consistency is key um you need to focus on your studies however you need to set time apart for the WAP and you need to start preparation uh, preparations very early on to not feel that stress because that stress won't help at all and yes the WAP is only a pass fail but it's still a lot of content to cover and you need to perform on your other degree so just time management is very important with that regards um also follow the objectives very closely because they won't deviate from the objectives because that's what they set aside for their second year students to know um it shouldn't be anything other than that like I said, anatomy was usually the easiest section for me. It was very straightforward. Molecular medicine, it was it was the in-between one where it was easy but it was hard. Some things I didn't know, some things were quite straightforward. But they require, once again, you to know your most important things. For example, um, they'll ask you what type of bacteria causes what type of cancer. And, for example, you need to know about HPV and cervical cancer, and you need to know about H. Um, helicobacter pylori and your gastric cancer. So it's very important to know that because they will like mix and match those ones for you to know. Physiology is really all about the detail. They really, really like the detail. They usually have a specific theme that year, or not a theme. They like to focus on one section more. Because I think I've, I spoke to my colleagues last year's section was a lot about cardiology and everything with the car cardiac system. So just but just pay close attention to the major things that will be important. Also, my piece of advice is ask for help if you're struggling. We have tutors on our group who can assist you if need be. Um, we cannot help with everything, but we can help you with your preparation for the WAPT and at least make sure you know your stuff and you're well prepared and help clear up some confusions as well. Um, because if you set your mind to it, you will reach your goal. I mean, I took so, so not that long compared to some other people, but it took a long journey to get here. One of my friends, he's 32, the other one's 33. We even have a 46 year old person in our um, class. So it's not impossible. If you put your mind to it, you will reach your goals as well um, so then some tips for GIMP students so I would always say practice 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 your skills because it counts a lot of, of your com uh, practical components and you need that to be muscle memory you don't need to be thinking about what to do in an exam setting you don't need you just need to do the movement in an OSCE you need to know the important things you need to know your exams like the back of your hand because if you l learn everything in a systematic way they can just take out one thing and you'd be so confused because you learned it in that manner. So you need to make a muscle memory. So even though they, th they say this isn't part of your exam, um, leave this section out, 
you would then just you can continue without letting that hold you back also once again early preparation is key for exams because compared to where i had two semesters had one big file for a whole year i have one big file now for a six week block that i need to know and then i need to know at the end of the year so you need to make sure those things are set in your memory you can't be continuously revising it needs to be there if you know what i mean you need to revise so that it's in your long-term memory so you can just recall it and not actively have to go study something from the beginning and this holds true actually for any type of studying you can't just cram and forget the whole time i mean for example for example if we do a week in respiratory week then the whole week is about one section. So whatever you learn on Monday will still be applicable on Tuesday and th Wednesday and Thursday. So you'll need to have that in your memory, in your long-term memory, so you can just recall it and remember it. Because it's like building a house. You build blocks upon each other. And I also want to just mention that medicine, even though this particular program is just four years, it's a lifelong learning process. Things change in the field on a daily basis. Everything gets readapted, changed every year or anything. It's You need to have that lifelong yearning to study. It's not something that you hope to study and forget and have a routine because things will change. Things will not be consistent. I mean, take, for example, this pandemic now. Who expect, expected this to happen? Who would have expected half of the staff not working? The doctors are being overworked. They all have to wear 10 different layers of PPE. It's a completely different setting. So I just want you to keep that in mind to know you really, really want to do this and continue on this journey. And also, honestly, if I look back, third year was a lot more easier and straightforward for me than this year. Um, we were doing a lot more intricate detail, a lot more difficult exams, and you you all need to you need to remember everything so it needs to be set in that long-term memory once again and you obviously need to take time once again for yourself your mental health you need to take a break you can't overwork yourself ever because that will just be disastrous and also just like they say take time to smell the roses make friends you realize that if you get into the game program these are going to be your colleagues for life you all need to build each other up and help each other it's not that competitive anymore you've gotten in you're there you've made it you now need to build each other up and help each other and work as a team because that's what you will be one day and for everyone still trying to get there your dream will become a reality it doesn't mean it will be tomorrow or next year just keep on trying and you eventually will get to where you want to be if you really want that just keep on trying just keep on applying just keep on studying just keep on further increasing your knowledge do more um, diplomas do more honors if it's in your capabilities to do so and just try your best and also um i thought of it this way just as a final thing to say goodbye when i wrote the web i thought of it as this is the final test of my life i mean it's either I get into medicine with this test or I don't. So you put your all into it and it will pay off. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for listening to me blabber. Um, stay safe. Keep warm, even though it is a bit warmer. Um, wash your hands and wear your mask, please. And thank you so much. And yeah, once again, subscribe to Sadalekwa's channel. And thank you so much. Our greatest glory is never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated.